Now, to do this, we have x squared plus y squared equals to 2009. What is the value of x plus y? Now, the first thing we're going to be doing here is let's look for the factors of 2009. Here we have 2009. Now, the first factor here is 7. 7 in 2009, we're going to have 287. Now, another factor, let's see, 7. This is going to be 41. 41 is a prime number, so the next factor is going to be 41, which is 1. Now, this means that 2009 is equivalent to 7 times 7 times 41. Or you can rewrite this as saying 7 squared times 41. This is what we need. Don't forget that x and y are positive integers. So, using this technique here, let our x to be equals to 7a and let y to be equals to 7 b. Mm -hmm. So from here, recall that we have x squared plus y squared equals to 2009. So x squared plus y squared equal to 2009. Now my x is now going to be 7a squared plus my y squared which is going to be 7b squared equals to 2009. So my 2009 can be written in this form, which is 7 squared times 41. Now, simplifying this parenthesis here, we're going to have 7 squared times a squared plus 7 squared times b squared equal 7 squared times 41. Dividing through by 7 squared. So this equation can be written as a squared plus b squared equals to 41. Now, with this, we can simplify this further. By looking at 41, we want to show that a squared plus b squared equals to 41. You can look at some perfect squares because this is squared. Perfect square that we have, we have 1, we have 4, we have 9, we have 16, we have 25, 36 like that, 36 and so on. So which of the sum of this perfect square is going to give us 41? If you have a very good look at it, you can see that 16 and 25 is going to be the same as 41. That is, 41 is the same thing as 16 plus 25. So we are interested in that. Now, the A can take two values. So here we're going to have two cases. Case number one. So we have case one. Since we have that 41 is the same thing as 16 plus 25 and we don't know which of these two values and here we have a squared plus b squared equals to 41 so we can say that a is the same thing as 4 squared and b squared is going to be 5 squared which is 41 therefore here we can say that a is 4 and b is 5 this is case number one. We have case two. Case two, since we still believe that a squared plus b squared equals to 41, it is possible that we have a to be 5 and we have b to be 4, which is still equivalent to 41. Therefore, in case two, a is going to be 5 and b is going to be 4. Recall that in the previous slide, we have both our x equals to 7a. So in case 1, that is, our x is going to be 7 times 4. 
that shows x is 28. Also, in the same case, we have y to be equal to 7b. So in case 1, y is going to be 7 times 5, which is 35. This is the case for case 1. So in case 1, x is 28 and y is 35. In case 2, here we have, uh, since a is 5 and our b is 4, so here x is going to be 7 times 5, which is 35. And our y is going to be 7 times 4, which is 28. Okay, therefore, the value of x can be 28 or 35. And the value of y can be 35 and or 28. So, our x plus y either one of the two values is still going to be the same it can be 28 plus 35 which is going to be 63. alternatively if you can say that x and y using case 2 is 35 plus 28 this is still going to be 63. and if you go back to the question maybe probably you want to confirm we have that x squared plus y squared equals to 2009. So if you plug in the value of x, which is 28 squared plus 35 squared, you can confirm that this is equivalent to 2009. So this is the end of the proof. Here, recall, you can argue that why do we have it in this form? Don't forget that it has been stated from the beginning that x and y are positive integers that is why we can't assume another values for x and y so we remain i mean our values remain positive okay and we only consider the integers value we are not considering the real set of values mm -hmm. so we limit it just to the integers so x can be 28 or 35 y can also be 35 or 28 either case if you use it you're going to have the same thing this is a for case one whereby x is can be 28 and y is 35 and if you twist it where x is 35 squared and y is 28 squared you're still going to get the same thing thank you very much for watching please don't forget to subscribe if you find this very insightful Put your suggestion in the comment section too.